wanted a change to something that was more, I think, helpful, like I felt had more direct impact on people's lives. A biotribology project interested me because it was more tangible and more related to humans. a bachelor's and a master's degree in mechanical engineering and I wanted to apply the engineering knowledge to sort of real life human problems so uh, biotribology allows me to do a bit of the biology side but also apply my engineering knowledge in the tribology. My project is about treating glioblastomas using a minimally invasive neurosurgery technique and for this I'm also creating a tissue mimicking material that is similar to real brain. So I'm working on a 3D printing technique that can create these complex geometries. I'm looking at how we can test cartilage in a better way so we don't need to do so many animal screening tests. So I'm developing methods where we can test cartilage over longer periods of weeks and months to give us information about new materials. Take every opportunity that comes your way, whether it's work experience, lab tours, talks by interesting people, networking with interesting people, they can all help, help you in the future. If you like physics, if you like maths and you're good at it, then you should just go for it and don't be afraid of what other people might think uh, or don't be afraid that you're not good enough because you are. After my PhD, I would like to follow up the research with a postdoctoral fellowship as this would allow me to deepen my understanding in the subject area and also to try something different. I want to become a lecturer and then I'd like to one day have my own group and be the professor of that group with a particular interest in looking at how diseases affect the biotribology interfaces in our body, how we can understand that and then how we can develop devices and implants that will help in the treatment of those diseases. We recruited the best people for our PhD positions and they happen to be women. But we generally find that women prefer to work in the, the newer subject areas that are on the edges of engineering, where engineering meets biology or engineering meets chemistry, because these are the challenging areas.